Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. This video is part of the series of upgrading TFS 2010 to TFS 2012 with migration to a new hardware. This video covers part 7, verify upgrade success and other configuration. This video has one section which is verify the success of the upgrade and the complete other configuration. So we will check if our upgrading for the other project is working properly for the source control, uh, SharePoint, reporting service and we will also check for the new feature like task board and backlog. Let's review our upgrade. We need to install Team Explorer. Install. Launch Team Explorer so we can connect to the, t the new TFS to examine the existing project and how this upgraded. Let's connect to Team Foundation server. Connect to the new server. We'll find the older project exists. Let's check for the feature. Let's go to the source control. The source control now is upgraded successfully. We have the source code. So let's go to the work items. Query the backlog. We have all the user story. Let's go to the SharePoint documents. Click on show project portal, enter the username and the password. Okay. We will need to add this to the trusted side so that it was working properly. Okay. Then refresh, enter the username password it's working now but let's make sure the connection to the reporting has no error refresh now it is working let's review the new feature by going to the team web access enter the username and password we will need also to add this to the trusted side to working properly. Alt, okay, security trusted. Refresh. Okay, now it's working. Let's review the new tool like task board and the backlog. we will find it is not working this is because the process template itself because uh, it is different so we need to upgrade this process template so let's configure the upgrade here it verify if it could be automatically upgraded or not it could so we will configure to the recommended process template now it's successfully completed let's close and refresh the task board now there is no iteration selected so let's select iteration we'll go to the iteration and select all okay, close this and refresh again task board now the task board is working but there is no user story assigned so let's assign existing user story or add user story i will add user story to any iteration let's review the dashboard now the dashboard is available and working with the old project at the end I'd like to thank you for watching this video I would be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content thank you